Good afternoon, I'm Michael White, and I have the pri privilege today of being in Linda Saussier's home, whom I call my patron saint. I was very, very gifted to be able to do 10 paintings in her home the last few years. So I'll introduce Linda, please step over. She's my dear friend, and I call her my patron saint as well. Hello. <laughs> so Linda, you gave me a chance to let spirit come through me for your beautiful home. And let's start with the first painting. Well, this is the first painting you ever did for me. And I had no idea what you were going to paint. You just felt it, you came over with it, and of course, look at it, I love it. And this painting and all the paintings just infuse my home with love and energy because you come from love and I get that energy from all of your artwork so this was the first painting you did for me and it's just I just love it do you want to talk about it yeah I'm gonna talk about it a little bit I call it peacefulness because that's what Linda told me that was the only requirement she said I want it to feel like peace when I look at it so most of you know that when I paint, I also use music. So once the painting is wet, I take a crystal bowl and I actually let the tones of the music, the vibration, along with my intention, which in this one was for peacefulness, for Linda. And that's kind of how I do every painting that I do. I allow the vibration because at the end of the day, we're all vibration, we're all energy. So that's where this particular painting came. And Linda and I have known each other for years, and we decided right up front we would never let a painting become between the two of us. So it was a gamble on my part and a gamble on her part, but as you'll see, she gambled a big time with me with 10 paintings in her home. So shall we start with the next one? I think I, I, to be honest with you, I kind of forgot what I named this for Linda, but in her kitchen, it's all done in blacks and silvers and pewters. And, and for me, this was almost like it was a portal so that she could just go into her, wherever her space, wherever her being was that every day. So this was kind of like Linda's portal to go to another dimension because she's a very spiritual dimensional lady. And I just thought it rang true for the colors in her kitchen and it also gave her an endless opportunity to go anywhere within her mind and her spirit and her soul. Any words? Well, it's, it's exactly what I love is that <clears throat> the way this is open. Um, I just, again, I had no idea what you were doing, but it, I loved it. Perfect. Yeah. And one of the things about this that I loved is that I had a lot of texture to my paints. So for me, it was almost like it was, I went in and it looks like I almost took the scratched off the black and let the other parts of the painting from behind come through. And again, I'm the guy that when I paint, it's just what's brought through me. I don't ever question it. I never stop and analyze it. I don't let any of that happen. I really just let it come through me. And people ask me all the time, how long did it take you to do this? And it comes very quickly for me. Mm -hmm. It just always did. And my deal is I paint something and then I go away and leave it for three days. Mm -hmm. And in those three days, if something doesn't say, tweak that, add that, and sometimes it does, then it's finito. We'll go into the here. What I love about this is I had asked Michael, this is an odd wall, you know, coming from the entranceway into the living room. So, but I wanted something. So I said, can you just make a big, long painting here? And so that's what I was expecting. One, one big, narrow, long painting. And then he came in with these three. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love these three. They're, it's almost 
almost like one because if you look at it, they're all unified except they're three separate paintings. So do you want to say any more about that? Lots of texture. Yeah, I actually used a texture that's almost like cement, you know, so it has that rough feeling to it. Again, it, to me, it's adjacent to her kitchen where it has all these pewters and grays and silvers. So I wanted it to almost feel like it was concrete, slabs of concrete on your wall. And as you can see, it has just a pop of color that complements the color you'll see in her living room. And of course, the blouse she's wearing today. <laughs> that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move in here. Is really dark. Too dark. Okay, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. Um, I absolutely adore this piece of furniture. Do you call it a day lounger? A fainting couch. Fainting or a couch. Divan, yeah. I adored it, and so, and I loved her colors, and so we did. Was it this painting first or this? I think it was this painting, right? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. But anyway, we painted one and she said, I need a little more. I think that was the storyline. And this, as you can kind of see, re replicates the line here. And that was kind of my intention. But I also used a particular crackling effect to kind of give it that old vintage leather look. Mm -hmm. Again, because I wanted it to feel old and vintage and feel, you know, that feeling. But hopefully I captured kind of the feeling here. This is actually a graphic that I designed and then I went and laid actual paint on top of it to give it dimension. And then again, now I use music to bring the vibration because she has such a lovely home. Sorry, keep talking. I just love the colors because I thought it spoke so well, kind of complimenting this beautiful lounge that she has. And this painting, it does, it follows just the curve of the couch, but also I think it's very sensual because that could be a person could be a person out lying on their side. That's you, darling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, you, darling. Yeah. Again, as ever, with everything else, I had no idea what you were doing. You just came in, and it's, you've never brought over anything that I didn't love, whether I have no more wall space, but anything you've done, I love. Everything you've done, I love. So two more precious energy sources of love radiating in this room. Right. Yeah. All right, let's go in the bedroom. Well, this painting is actually, if you remember from the very first painting that I did for her peacefulness, I went and I zoomed in on that very focal point of that painting. And then I took it and brought it out. So this is actually a print from an original that I do. And then I go in and I add more paint to it, mm -hmm. more texture. And again, I allow the sound of the music to infuse into this painting. So it becomes an original. And that's my whole idea. And for me, again, it just kind of took the original painting mm -hmm. and it brought it out more and celebrated more Linda's spirit. And that's what I loved about it. It's such a beautiful, that focal point, it represents so many things. It represents the sun and the heart and, you know, the third eye and light and brightness. There's just, you could stare at that picture and just see so many things in there. So. I, again, I just, you brought it over and I loved it. Yeah. I like the colors a whole lot. And yeah, again, I do too. I, you know, I go, I go back in and I added more, it's almost like a watercolor. I went and infused some of these 
colors and brought them out again and made them really more vibrant than the original was because it was much smaller. And then when we enlarged it, it gave me a chance to bring a little more energy into here. Because this is all, again, if you touch it, you'll feel texture because that's what I did. I added more to it. Yeah, that's real special. So then the painting here that's across from the bed, different people have said different things to me. They, they found it to be like a ray of hope, you know, serenity, the purple mountains. If you were to zoom in close, you'll see those mountains are actually purple and kind of like that purple majesty they talk about in songs. I don't know, again, I just, I love doing this because it got me an opportunity to do all kinds of texturizing and detail and yet still be a little bit more abstract, which Linda loves. Mm -hmm. And for me, this that sun was a symbol of hope. And so whenever I look at this, it just is such a positive, hopeful message that I get from it. The sun is shining and the sun is rising. It's, it is so beautiful. And normally I don't like pictures that are not completely abstract. All your paintings so far don't have things that you can discern like mountains or sun. Right. But when I saw this, I loved it. It is abstract in a way, but it's got the definition of, of real things, the sun and the mountains. So beautiful. This way, please. As you can see, she has a quite a lovely home to begin with. So I just added a little bit of, a little bit on top. So the finale, if you will, this is called Linda's Heart. And I kept getting this image of a heart and because she loves abstracts so much, I finally called her and said, I keep getting this image of a heart and I know you love it. What do you feel? How do you feel about it? And? Well, my, I hadn't seen it, but my first response was, well, I don't, I like abstract. I don't like pictures of things like a mountain, a sunrise or a heart. But as you can see with Michael's paintings, I uh, I love this painting. It's just beautiful. And when I saw it, also the thing he didn't know is that I love hearts. Yeah. I love the symbol of a heart and everything that that represents. And so when I saw this painting, oh my gosh, loved it, as with everything else. Yeah. Well, I actually have an, uh, a print of this in my home that was the same size that I actually went in and put some of my own you know, texture on it too. But I don't know, this just, to me, because you are such a majestic person and you put your heart space out every day, it was just kind of the 